Fala galera, o maior site de crash do mundo está de volta e utilizando o cupom ALEARTS você irá ganhar 100% de bônus no seu primeiro depósito. E além disso, você envia na print comprovando que depositou no site com o cupom do canal no formulário, estará participando do sorteio da luva Cão de Caça. É isso mesmo, manda o print no link da descrição e boa sorte! Here we go, boys. <laughs> right on cue. Stewie with the opener. Flames, okay. he's still alive and still causing problems. Naf comes in with the trade. Once again, it's Naf and Fallen trying to navigate another 2VX, this time a 2v3. Temporarily, Robin's here alone. Ooh. Naf tries to take advantage of that, but ends up leaving it all on the back of oh. Fallen. The taps. Oh. oh, what a way to lock it in. A man and almost against match point. Grim flashed in. He gets so much info. He sees the bomb. Stewie here with that AWP. Oh, they're going to smoke it. He's getting caught from short as well. Stewie, the flash actually stalls him out and he gets caught by Cirque with the AK. Naf going through with spray on the Famas and Tarek does take him down. Still winnable for Liquid, throwing everything into the round and Fallen looking for the clutch of the game. Oh, there's the first. Does he still want to attempt it? Fallen. So scary in these clutches. Up in heaven right now. Not given a peek, not given anything. They're just playing for the post plan, but Fallen is in. He has decided that he wants to give this round a go. Half the time, ticked off this bomb. He's going to have to tap it to bait peeks out from short. Cirque uh -oh. gives the first one over. Now, just Stan being stuck by Fallen. He's on the defuse, and Stanisaw swings out. Left up against it all. Cirque with the swing, well timed, has removed Grim from the retake. Oh, and a second for Cirque, now onto the Deagle. Fallen's gonna silence him. And oh, Fallen with the clutch. Clutching a B is looking like this man's bread and butter. It's another big 3K for him here. We had that incredible 1v3 with all one taps versus endpoint yesterday. The slither gap of those sandbags. Naf desperately trying to reposition and Sendry to buy him time. And I think Fallen yes. caught a slight glimpse of SHZ. He might even be looking for a second. Danoko was on that close line. His pre-fire doesn't quite connect, and he starts to punish with some space. 3v5, a minute on the clock. Utility to work with, but they're going to need to find a gap here. And Danoko, he wants one. Fallen train with the AWP. Never a fun fight for the Ts. Especially without some utility getting lobbed on in. So he's thinking about it. They're setting up some nades now. Molly to push Fallen back. It's good. Oh, he's disrespecting it. That's great teamwork. Looking like a convincing 11th. Oh, oh lovely stuff. Out of the shooting gallery for his three. And Grim, absolutely not going to be slipping up there. A double from him as well. On the back of the flash, he's oh. popped in by Breezy. Tarek. Oh. Dead as well, and now Fallen left up in a clutch, a 1v2. Ever since that 1v3 the other, get, other oh. day, we've been feeling it for Fallen in the clutches. Oh, oh it's the, the taps. taps again! When he gets it... ...way, a fantastic start, and well, one that allows them now to go a little bit more passive, and with so little nades, they wouldn't be able to do this unless they already had an advantage to sit with. Here's the creep out from Naf. Ooh, two players in towards the connector as well as they're taking some mid control. They want to do damage. This is the important thing. He finds a nice kill and a second follow up as well. He lost to E2K to do so, but you know, might have been worth it. Oh, oh Nath has spotted a player. He's going to drop down. Now he knows where Issa is. Issa can't get away, but he can win the fight. Nath making a bit too much noise in doing so, and Issa figuring out the gambit. Now, what can Fallen do? All alone in a 1v3. Back turn towards sight. He'll get the first kill. Expects to be peaked from Catwalk. And there is a player there. Valdis not taking the bait. He's so low. And with an MP9, he doesn't favor that fight. Fakes the window jump. Love that from Fallen. Because then you see MBK focus back in towards window. Going to come back to clear this. The gears are turning in both players' heads as they try and work out what's going on here. It's going to be a bomb plant secured for Team Liquid and a chance at a massive clutch for Fallen. It'll be the 1v3, and he's got a good chance to do so. Still a molly and two flashes, and there is a smoke for MBK. That's critical. If he goes down, see if Volda picks it back up, because otherwise this defuse may not be coming through at all. Smoke's going to go in. 
They'll presumably try and just stick it, but right now they want to try and isolate the fight. There's the smoke. There's the tap on the bomb. Spam there, it connects, it's enough! Oh. The trade is better. They even put the player who didn't have the kit on it so that NBK could stay alive with the rifle, try and get the trade. And they've had, as you said, four if not five alive. Yeah, out of these last three of rounds, I think it's the, the last six that we're talking about here. Fallen will grab another one, but uh, all in all, they, they've had five of those rounds with four players survive, uh, and one of those rounds with, with everybody survive. So let's see how badly they want to throw resources here at Fallen. They can chase, they have the bank to do so. Fallen's grabbed another. This really isn't hurting VP by any means. If they rip this AWP out of Fallen's hands, they're going to continue throwing bodies at him. And Fallen is just absolutely wrecking him. Come on. Give it to him. He has survived. Fallen will bring the AWP into the next. He refuses to surrender his arms. Go down quietly. End up inside mini. Perfecto. Going to get overwhelmed here. Oh, quick A burst. Looking for the angle. Simple will find a kill, but it's just been one and done until he showed up. Gets that man advantage. Electronic just saw the player out from Squeaky, so easy pickups here. Good recovery coming out of Navi. That element of surprise and a headshot the other direction. Fallen, we saw you in an attempt at the clutch. Let's see if he gets himself the victory this time around. He does have an exit route. Yeah, he could try to draw a vent if you want to, but he, of course, Knowing that Flamey's alive could mean that there that's someone at ramp. And this is an interesting reroute, actually. So we've got... He's encouraged the rotation downstairs, because everyone drops vent when they're in front of Squeaky. And uh, now he's going heaven. And they're going to have no idea that he's up here. It's very atypical to play uh, after being spotted where he was. So... It's being watched. Let's see if he actually wins. Yeah, it's not the perfect angle to hold from there. Doesn't Drop down, die. plant the bomb, and he'll have another attempt at it. 1v1, low HP on the A side. This time versus Sasha the Smasha. And simple swaps to the USP. He knows a single shot's going to get the job done. Walking into the angle, Fallen crouched. No! He's going to get the better of him. Three kills from Fallen. An excellent 1v3 when Liquid absolutely need one. That was six consecutive round wins with no bomb plant. And he even shot Rain out in the window. They're just going to try and rush the smoke. And Elysian Fallen, they ain't fallen for that. Whoa, oh, the no. knives are out and Fallen stabbing Brokey down to the 2v2. <laughs> they lose Cold Zera. A knife kill came in. And there's the CT player. Will get cancelled by twists. However, Stewie oh. Oh, misses the spam. And now the 1v1. But of course, he closes it out. It's 11 on the board for Liquid. A knife kill for Cold Zera. And another one of these tight little clutches. One out at the end by Stewie2k. Oh, what a mess. That entire round, what a mess. And the bomb getting shown at ramp, right? That is the dip. They hear the AWP. I mean, uh, with pistols, tech nines, yeah. you know, just run the AWP. But, oh, they're going to go for the split. They're going to go through arch. This is big. Oh, Colin is there with the, a collat through the smoke. He's got three kills through the smoke. Absolutely ridiculous. Ethan is still low from that earlier grenade. So, yeah, they're going to send him flying through the air and fall. And, oh, he hits those shots every single day. Almost getting it here. He's swerving on the ace. And that's how they finish the half. Yeah, fist bumps all around. What a beautiful... And we are back once again. A little bit of an exciting replay here. And Fallen ended the half with an ace. It's, um, it's quite a good job at the end of the day. You've got to appreciate that. Well, they've had two key rounds where the majority of the kills happened through smoke. Collide right there here at the same time. Grim going deep with inside of B. The bomb now getting planted. I can hear ready to retake and Crims has opened up. Oh. There's the swing for Naf. It's only good for one. It's a 2v2. Okay. Now the 2v1. Oh. That never should have been. Fallen last man alive. Top of the server right now. Trying to hold this line. 1v2. Both players tagged up on the other side. Fallen playing around this bomb, playing the timer. There's the close smoke to allow these players to close the gap. Now, Fallen's got a little peephole here to try and look through. First shot misses. They tap the bomb, but it's not the stick yet. They're trying to bait the peek out of Fallen. They're trying to make him uncomfortable. And now they are on it. The tags miss, and there's Fallen with the double. Chiquinho and Crims, they get dropped.